Hey guys, this part of the video you're watching now is actually after I recorded the initial video and I'm just recording this at the beginning just to let you know that um, this 9 ball lip seal does not actually work for um, my WE and the main reason for it not working for the WE is pretty simple. As you can see here, there's a little concave curve just there at the top and this little concave curve at the top here is actually supposed to sit flush with this part of the gun like that when you when you install it it's not focusing but it's supposed to sit flush here on the we nozzle is actually flat as you can see the green part here is there's not curved it's flat which means that this does not sit properly and when it does sit these two spaces at the front and back will leak out gas from the mag so it doesn't actually sit or seal properly and after installing it and after going to test it out i found out that with this nine ball one one full mag of gas after one mag all the gas is gone. I thought something was wrong with my mag or my gun. And after going back to stock one, I managed to get three mags worth of shots off before it started running out. So I'm just saying that now, it's not worked with WE. I learned the hard way. But the rest of this video still applies if you guys want to watch it because I still do the installation. And even though it doesn't work for the um, WE one, the, the installation process is still the same for, you know, the TM. So if you want to stick around for that, then um, on to the next part. But yeah, I'm just telling you this now. Bye-bye. Hello YouTube, my name is Steven and in this video I will be taking a quick look at this which is a lip seal for the magazine of your airsoft gun. Um, in this case I have the one for the G series because for my WE G18C here and I will be doing an unboxing and installation and a quick little test at the end of this video so you can get an idea of uh, what to expect out of this. On the top of your mag you have this thing here which is the lip seal which is where the gas comes out of so when you pull the trigger it hits this here and then the valve will let some gas out and it will come out through this thing here at the top. This is just an aftermarket part for this and apparently it increases um, FPS by roughly 20 as well as also making it more gas efficient. So the standard one here you can see it has like these sharp corners on both sides whereas this one by 9ball Lalax um, has smoother corners so the gas can can come out smoother i think that's what it means but it should increase your fps as well as uh, increasing gas efficiency and the test at the end of the video will um just give a rough idea on whether that's true or not and uh, exactly how much gas efficient how much more gas efficient it is i don't have a chrono so i can't do the fps test but other videos online have have shown that it's roughly 15 to 20 fps increase so this one here i got off of rainbow 8 it came in a pack of two and it was pretty cheap um one for each mag and there's two here so you can fit this on two mags but i only have one so i'm just gonna try it with this and the way you uh, install it is pretty simple you see this little pin here at the top this is the pin that you want to take out and when you take this out this part here or the top part here will come off you don't have to worry about emptying the, out the gas or anything uh, you can just take it off so you find something small enough i have a, a little screwdriver here okay so that took a little bit more effort than i thought but yeah just pick it out from one side and then take out the pin on the other and uh this whole part top section here just comes off like that put this down for a second and let's take a look at this so you just have to push on this top part here and then it comes out remember what direction it comes goes in that so it comes in here with a little cut out facing the front side facing the front side here and um right off the bat actually i can feel that the nine ball one the purple one here is a lot harder and the top here as well is a lot harder yeah, it's this one when you press it down it's, it's squishy but well, if you press down gently it's squishy and it goes in but this one here is more durable so i think that also adds to the seal i think because it's harder it helps um seal the gas more so uh, that's why it's more gas efficient as well just have to put this in just have to put this in through here give it a little push Make sure it's in there. There you go. Then you take a mag. And then you just slot it back. Back to how it was. And then you just get the pin. Get the pin and then just poke it back through. Okay, that took a while, but 
I managed to get it in there and that's literally it. So you can put this in your gun, back here and shoot it and yeah, it'll work just like that. Uh, yeah, so that's about it for how this will work. Uh, on to the next part. So a shooting test was supposed to come after that part but obviously it didn't work out and I deleted the footage from the shooting test so I'm gonna have to end the video here. Yeah, I mean, it's been disappointing. I thought it'd work. I didn't do my research, obviously. Um, but after getting it, trying it out, and learning from a mistake, I just want to let you guys know that it doesn't work with the WE. Um, I'm pretty sure it works with TM because it's made for TM, but for WE, it doesn't. Um, found out the hard way. Ten pounds gone like that. But I will save it just in case in the future I do get a Tokumuri Glock, or maybe I modify my WE into using to Tokumuri parts, uh, especially in the nozzle. Then I can just use that lip seal again, put in my gun, and it'll work hopefully. But for now, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been disappointing, but yeah. See you in the next one. Bye bye.